Hello, Faith Fam, my family on here, my amazing brothers and sisters. So, uh, y'all, I'm going to pray before I even begin because I have such a sense of excitement and I really want you all to, as I always do, receive this the way God wants you to receive it into your spirit, into your heart, and so that it does what God wants it to do in shutting up the mouth of the enemy. So, Father, I thank you. Father, I give you all the glory. I glorify you. I honor you. I thank you, Father God. It is such a privilege that you use me as your vessel. And it is such a privilege when you decide that you're going to use us as your vessel in order to encourage your children and speak life, hallelujah, into each and every single one of them. And so now, Father God, as I relay your message to your children, Father, I pray that it would be delivered. You would help me, Father God, because it's not going to be any of me, so that you would help me, Father, to deliver it and say exactly what you want me to say, the way you want it said, the way you want it to be received. Let it be received in the name of Jesus. I come against right now every single spirit, principality, every stronghold, every every feeling of bondage. I come against the enemy in your sons and daughters' lives right now, Father God, in whatever capacity that he is a attacking them, Lord. I come against that attack now in the name of Jesus. The attack of their mind, on their mind, hallelujah. Every single spirit that is seeking to devour them in the kubusi karamande robosha and devour the promises that you have spoken over us as your children and that you have spoken into them individually, hallelujah. I pray, Lord, they would receive this as encouragement today. Have your way. Lord, now in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, so I'm gonna start. So this morning I woke up and I literally looked out my window. And I when I looked out the window, you all, y'all, some of y'all who are in a relationship with God and here, I'm pretty sure this happens to other people, but as my relationship has grown deeper and deeper in God with him, and as I talk to him every single day of my life, literally, if I go a day without talking to God, I feel weird. Through my relationship going deeper and deeper with the Lord, I notice everything. I see God everywhere in everything. Hallelujah. Because God is so sovereign and so big. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is in the very room where you are sitting watching this video right now. The Holy Spirit is there with you. He knows what you're going through. He's there to comfort you. He's our comforter. Thank you, Jesus. And I've noticed that as my relationship has grown deeper in God, I begin to notice God in every single thing. When I go out in nature, in everything, when I go out for my walk, when I go to walk my dog, I notice things in nature and I see God speaking to me through the nature sometimes. It's a beautiful thing. It's so awesome and amazing. You begin to see the beauty in everything. You begin to see God in everything. And the other day, even I was walking outside and it's it's like I was just, it's like the Holy Spirit just amplified my surroundings to me, hallelujah, and had me just understand that because God is in everything and he's everywhere and everything comes from him, he literally surrounds you. Like when I was out there, all of the nature just felt like God's hug to me, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what it felt like when I was walking outside. So I was looking outside this morning and outside my window, my bed is right beside my window over there, just looking at the trees blowing and then so windy day and I was just looking at the trees. I was looking at the wind blowing the tree. And when I was looking at the wind blowing the tree, and I think there's another video that I posted about this same thing, but the Lord is bringing it back because it's a beautiful reminder of how awesome our God is. And when I was looking at it, the Lord was having me pay attention to how the wind was blowing the trees. And I could see the wind blowing the trees, but I couldn't see where the wind was coming from. But there was movement and the wind was moving something and he was saying wind has I'm reading my notes wind has the propensity to pick things up and reposition or move them into another place or position into a direct place or position it moves them into a different direction it move wind has the ability to move things it has the ability to literally pick up a house 
and move it into a different position. Pick something up and move, hallelujah, it into a different position. God is going to, by the wind of the breath of God, for his children, we are in a time when God is going to be blowing, because today is such a windy day and it's like that's all that I could hear in my spirit, the wind of God, the breath of God, God's breath, the life breath of God. That's all I kept hearing in my spirit. God is going to, by his breath, by the power of his life breath, just like in Ezekiel 37 when he blew his breath into the dry bones and the the dry bones came to life. Hallelujah. And it was an army that came to life from God's breath. That is the same breath that God is blowing over his children in the very moment of time that we are in. When you come across, it comes across your path. It is going to empower you. It is going to strengthen you. It is going to have you feeling like you should feel a child of God, a purposeful child of God, a worthful. You're not worthless. Hallelujah. Yanamanderebosa. God wants you to understand you are not a worthless person. and You are not a worthless human being. You have worth. You have self-worth in God through Christ. You have an identity. You have an inheritance that only comes from the Father. That comes from the Father through what His Son did on the cross for us. We have the ability to walk in power and strength. Something else the Lord said about the wind. He said there's a wind that's blowing into and over your life. It's about to or it already is. Maybe some people are already noticing this wind. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The winds of change are here. The winds of change are here. The winds of change. Just like the wind, we can't see it, but we see the movement it makes. So you can't see God's breath is coming towards you. You can't see the wind coming towards you, but eventually you can't see the wind and the movement or the effects of the wind. Hallelujah. You can't see the effects of the wind until it hits the object that it's directed towards, if I'm making sense. And so just like that works in the physical and the natural, it's like God is basically saying, this is what's happening right now. For you sons, you daughters, for the body of Christ, for his children, for even those that don't know, and he keeps telling me every time in every video, it's not just for the ones who know the Lord. It's for the entire body. It's inclusive of all God's sons and all God's daughters who decide to make or decided to make the choice to answer the call of the Lord on your life. When the Lord said to you, Patricia, I want you. Ethan, I want you. Jeremy, I want you. Justice, I want you. Samantha, I want you. Sarah, I want you. Denise, I want you. Hallelujah. Elijah, I want you. When God said that he wanted you and you said, okay, God, here I am. You said, okay, God, I can't do anything on my own. I don't understand even what is happening in my life right now. But in In my storm, I humbly give everything, every ounce of myself to you to do with me in my life what you want to do. Because what God wants to do in someone's life, he wants to take you and mold you and shape you. And for some of you, he is taking you and molding you, shaping you into who you were really called to be. So many of us, we get to this point in life where we get to a standstill where this is on his heart. We get to the point in our life where we want to give up. We don't want to move anymore. And we don't want to deal with this life. And we don't want to wake up another morning so that we have to deal with all the issues and problems that the devil is throwing at us. But guess what? There is a name that you can call. God is there. God is for you always. And if you would just, even in the midst of the mess, even in the midst of the hurt and the pain, and I just feel the heart of God, what I feel is how some people are feeling right now. Like a heaviness in the heart because everything is at a standstill and you feel like you don't know where to turn. Nothing is happening. But if you would just have faith, And I know, you guys, I know. I know. I know. Faith? Oh my gosh. Everybody says have faith. Everybody keeps saying, why don't you just have faith? 
Let me tell you some a little something, something about faith, y'all. Faith is something that is a key that unlocks destinies of God's children. Faith is a key that unlocks your propensity to do what you were called to do. Faith is the key that unlocks the door to the you who you didn't even think you were. Well, let me just say something. I don't care how old you are. If you are 60, 70, 80, 90, I don't care if you are 40, 50, I don't care if you are 10 years old or 12 years old, God will use whoever he chooses to use and he will use you whenever he chooses to use you. I don't care what the world says. I don't care if the world says you have to be this age to do this or if the world's view of whether or not you're viable to be hired by a particular job or in a particular field I don't care if they say you're too old and I feel this for somebody in Jesus name I feel the Holy Spirit so much on this God wants me to let you know stop letting the devil lie to you and tell you age matters age doesn't matter to God it's a number hallelujah time it matters to God but not in the way that we think it does we think that if you're this particular age or if this amount of years has gone by it's too late if this amount of time has gone by you can't do it anymore because it's not going to work stop it stop letting the, the, the devil lie to you those are all lies from the pit of hell why because the devil knows exactly who you finna be when god gets a hold of you honey the devil knows who you are going to be the devil knows what god is going to give you to do in the earth that's going to shake up his kingdom so let me say this if somebody who's watching this today has felt like that like it's too late for you like you ain't got no more time left like uh you know it's too late for me there's no more time left and it's too late for me because I'm this age and I, I can't have children anymore read Hebrews 11 11 I'll put that up on the screen uh, uh I, I'm too old to do this I, I can't do this I can't do that I'm this age and you know nobody's gonna hire me now I'm 60 I can't I can't go to school I can't start a clothing line I can't I can't write a book anymore well what else is there God what else what else Lord I can't write music anymore I can't become a singer anymore and for the glory of God no 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 let me tell you something when God wants to use you he's gonna use you when he wants to use you and God has perfect timing so God knows what he's doing so when I was outside and the Lord was still talking about wind and everything like that in my spirit I felt him sort of you know we were conversing back and forth and he was just talking and, and this is what I was feeling in my spirit and I'm just going to read it for you guys it says as real as the wind blows as real as as it is when we feel it blowing across our faces when you feel it blowing when you're walking in a park or when you're walking outside and you can feel that wind hitting your face God is blowing a wind into your life and when he was talking to me he was giving me the example of you know when you are inside and it's it's a uh, real just like today because of that's what happened today right um he was giving me the the sort of uh, example of you know when you are uh coming out of your house or you're coming out of a uh, uh, a, a store or whatever and you know the wind takes you by surprise it just hits you so hard and it just takes you by surprise that's the example that the Lord was giving me of of the type of wind that he's blowing into your life son or daughter of God like it takes you by shock it takes you by surprise it hits you like a ton of bricks the wind just hits you and you're like oh my gosh it's so windy out here oh my goodness wow it's it shocks you it surprises you it's so overpowering sometimes it's so over overpowering sometimes it actually moves like it actually moves you like I said it has the ability to move things it, it pick things up and move things so after the Lord was giving me this example, he said, fresh wind, blowing a fresh wind. God is blowing a fresh wind into our lives. God is blowing a fresh wind. He's blowing a wind into our lives. And it's about to be, you're about to see the effects of it. So remember when I was saying that when the wind hits the tree, the wind is moving. You can't see where the wind is coming from, but you know it's coming from somewhere, but you can't see where it's coming from. And you see the effects of the wind, but you can't see the wind. That's the same way God God's gonna be moving up in some of y'all's lives. The new fresh wind that God is blowing into our lives is going to be the 
fresh wind that's going to, it's going to elevate you. It's going to promote you. It's going to heal you. It's going to deliver you. It's going to breathe life back into the areas that were dead, the areas that were barren and desolate. The wind that's blowing, that God is blowing into your life is a wind that is meant to strengthen God's children enough to begin to stand in their identity as who they were as children of God so that we can begin to operate in the kingdom of God so that we can begin to operate in the world in the purposes that the Lord has given us to fulfill in the earth to fulfill the main goal which is to spread the gospel hallelujah it's blowing you guys and there's a song I don't know if some of y'all know um and it's a song I had made reference I've made reference to before but it is such a perfect the lyrics are perfect everything perfect for really shedding light on what is happening with that wind I'm gonna sing a little bit of it just a tiny bit Laura please help my voice <laughs> it goes the wind of God is blowing my way the wind of God is blowing my way I don't know where it's coming from but it's blowing in my direction there's something about the wind of God that changes everything there's something about the wind of God it's about to change everything and it's blowing my way blowing your way it's blowing our way blowing our way so I'm going to put the link to that song below. Please go listen to that song, y'all. And just know that that song is exactly what is happening as we speak. It's exactly what God is moving and doing. It's exactly what God is doing. I'm going to read Jeremiah 33 and verses uh, 10 to 12 and then verse 14 just to seal this up and letting you know that this is what God is about right now, guys, in this moment of time. Don't let the devil tell you otherwise. Don't let the devil lie to you. This is from the NLT version. It's Jeremiah 33. It says, this is what the Lord says. Now, when I read this as well, I want you to receive it in a way that's such that God is literally directly speak, because that's what he's doing, giving you a rhema. I want you to receive it into your spirit, hallelujah, that God is moving. I want you to receive it. Is it God? Is God speaking directly into this moment of time? This is what the Lord says. You have said, this is a desolate land where people and animals have all disappeared. Yet in the empty streets of Jerusalem and other towns, there will be heard once more the sounds of joy and laughter. The joyful voices of bridegrooms and brides will be heard again. What was I talking about, about the Lord bringing back marriages the way he had meant them to be? The sounds of joy and laughter, the joyful voices of bridegrooms and brides will be heard again, along with the joyous songs of people bringing thanksgiving offerings to the Lord. They will sing this, give thanks to the Lord of heaven's armies, for the Lord is good, hallelujah. His faith, lo faithful love, it endures forever, for I will will restore, saith the Lord, the prosperity of this land. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. He said to say that again. For I will restore, God will restore the prosperity of this land, of your land. Hallelujah. And not just in a materialistic way, not just in things, but in spiritually speaking, Hallelujah. Emotionally, mentally, in every way, God's going to prosper you. It says, this is what the Lord of Heaven's army says. This land, your land, whoever's watching this, though it is now desolate, it has no people and animals, though it has nothing, though that area in your life feels like nothing's happening, nothing's moving, it feels like a dry and thirsty land, God says this, it will once more have pastures where shepherds can lead their flocks. It says, going to verse 14, and then I'll end. The day will come. The day has come, says the Lord. When I will do for Israel and Judah all the things that I have promised them. And that is it for the word today. I love y'all so much. Be encouraged. The wind of God. What is it doing? 
Can somebody tell me? It's blowing. The wind of God is blowing. Please don't forget to subscribe if you ain't a part of this faith family, this family that is empowered by the faith that comes from the Father. And hit the notification bell. I want to also say I posted a video before this. Um, uh, call, It was a called the thumbnail. It has a picture that says revival. That video. In that video, I mentioned I'm going on a 40-day fast. And I had mentioned that if anybody else wanted to join me on that 40-day fast, they couldn't feel free or if, even if it's not a 40 day but if you just want to do consecration you can feel free to join me right so I am going to repost I'm not sure if I'm going to repost it or not I'm going to see what the what the content is God might want me to make another video just to update the the, the, the the content of it but it's a video actually explaining the importance of fasting explaining how to fast um had questions about that and I just want to touch on that right I just want to touch on that because I know fasting it can seem intimidating and of course you only fast if you bring it to the Lord of course and you ask the Lord God is this something that you want me to do and if the Lord says yeah then you go right ahead and do it right God doesn't give you more than you can handle you know sometimes you start small if you can't go for that long you can do a, a fasting for a week you can fast for uh, three days you can fast for a day you can fast for half of the day what you know God has can give you the strength to do. So I, I was, I'm just saying that to say, I'm probably going to repost that video um, on fasting that I had. And I know it's something the Lord wants us to really hone into learning on um, how to do it. And so I'll repost that. Or if the Lord wants me to, I'm going to go back and just look, because it's a video I posted last year. So I'm going to go back. And if the Lord uh, wants me to repost it, I will repost it. If not, he wants me to make a new video and sort of update the information in there. I will do that. And y'all can look out for that. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one.